The bassoon embouchure is a rounded embouchure that takes most of its muscle from the sides, the corners of your mouth, which you'll push in, rather than the jaw and the teeth from the top and the bottom. To form the embouchure, first thing you want to do is take the reed and put it just lightly on the lower lip. Then roll the reed in so that the lower lip rolls over the bottom teeth and cushions the reed. Then, once you've got your lower lip rolled in with the reed, you want to squeeze from the sides, thinking ooh, from the corners, and then just let the upper lip fall on top of the reed without rolling the upper lip over the upper teeth. Some people will teach an embouchure where you roll the upper lip over, and that works well. There's a ton of bassoon embouchures. Um, I teach my students to not do that because it tends to promote biting, and it's so easy to bite on bassoon, and you want to do everything you can to not have your students bite. If they keep the upper lip out, they'll be less likely to play sharp, less likely to have a pinched sound, and it's just a good habit to get in from the very beginning. So. Lower lip in, squeeze from the sides, and there it is. An easier way to des describe this to a younger student might resonate better with them is to think of it as very similar to whistling. The bassoon embouchure is really close to whistling. If you think <whistles> you've already got your corners squeezing in, giving you that support, and you're already very round. So if you think of whistling, Put the reed here and roll the lower lip, but keep everything else the same as when you whistled. It's practically the same thing. So that's a simplified way to describe it. The danger of the whistling embouchure is that if you don't roll the lower lip in, it looks like this. If you just stick the reed in without doing anything, it'll sound like this. I'm going to play a C. of unrefined sounding, kind of flat. Let me do the same thing but roll my lower lip in. I'm going to play the same note. Well, I'm going to finger the same note. So you see the sound changes pretty drastically and the pitch changes quite a bit as well. Another analogy that you might use when teaching embouchure if the whistling thing doesn't quite work is to think of the embouchure as being like a drawstring bag and the string is just going to pull and tighten everything around into a circle. But the key points of the bassoon embouchure to keep in mind are number one, corners in, and number two, lower lip tucked under. And that'll give you a good start to start playing some first notes.